Hi, I'm Andrew Guy. Today I want to talk to you about um, a quick way, a very efficient way of using the clock to remember the phases of the moon. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you're in Earth space, if you take in space science, you really want to have a good understanding about the phases of the moon. That will help you to get to the next level, not only the next level, but also to get you to actually um, recall the phases of the moon. Even when you're walking out there um, on the street and you look up and you see the moon, you can tell what phase it's in, all right? But mostly, for those who are taking um, Earth space science and are going through um, this part of the, um, the lesson right now, where we're talking about um, how to remember or what phase the actual um, moon is in. All right, so here we go. I have a really quick way, and that is we're gonna use the clock. So whenever you hear me say, what time is it? You are gonna tell me it's phase time. What time is it? Phase time. What time is it? Phase time. All right, so here we go. We're gonna use the clock to remember the phases of the moon. Come on, let's go get it done. All right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna draw like a big circle. Not the most perfect circle, but you understand it's a circle. And I want you to put up here 12, I want you to put 6, I want you to put 3, and I want you to put 9. All right? And then we're going to come back and then we're going to add a couple more numbers. I want you to think of 1, I want you to think of 8, I want you to think of 5, and I want you to think of 11. All right? I'm going to put a dotted line right through here like that. Uh, what I'm referring to is that anything above this dotted line up here is going to be referred to as waxing. And anything that's below this line, I'm going to refer to that as waning. I mean, waning means to get darker. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put in um, the first four phases. All right, so right here at 3 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and put in um, a new moon. So I'm going to put N, M. And then I'm going to go this way, counterclockwise. And then at 12 o'clock, I'm going to go and put a D. It looks like a D, but it's the first quarter. So we're just going to write first Q. And then I'm going to move to 9 o'clock. And at 9 o'clock, I want to have a full moon. So all I'm going to do is FM, like I'm playing the FM stereo. So let's review. So 3 o'clock is going to be new moon. 12 o'clock is going to be first quarter, and 9 o'clock is going to be um, full moon. Then we move all the way down here to the 6 o'clock position. At 6 o'clock, I'm going to have the reverse of the first quarter, which is going to be our uh, last quarter. So I'm going to put last Q or LQ. So let's review. 3 o'clock, new moon. 12 o'clock, first quarter. 9 o'clock. Full moon, six o'clock, last quarter. All right? The only other tricky part that you got to remember is this. We're going to actually kind of split the clock up into a left and a right side. So when it comes to the right side, I want you to think crescent. And then on the left side, I want you to think gibbous. All right? So left side, give us right side crescent. Okay, now there's one thing that I want you to remember when you do this is the orientation of the phases. The orientation of the phases really kind of help you to understand what's going on. So I want you to pay close attention to the back side of this D, the, the, the curved side, so to speak. So it's facing that way. So that means our crescent shapes like this, I want to make sure it's facing the same way. So that means that's what? Because up here is talking about waxing. We say above the line is going to be waxing. And below the line, below this horizon, we're going to call it waning. OK? So now, here we got a waxing crescent going counterclockwise. And then at 12 o'clock, so 12 o'clock, we got our first quarter. All right, let's go back again, 3 o'clock. New moon, 1 o'clock, waxing crescent, 12 o'clock, first quarter. 11 o'clock, because I'm on the left side of the clock now, I'm going to have a gibbous. But what is it going to call? It's going to be a waxing gibbous. 
and notice the orientation of the gibbous and the crescent. They're facing that way, just like my first quarter with the D, the back of the D facing to your right side. Now let's recap. New three o'clock, new moon, one o'clock, waxing crescent, 12 o'clock, first quarter, 11 o'clock, it's gonna be waxing gibbous, and then nine o'clock, we have our full moon. Let's work our way down now. Eight o'clock, at eight o'clock, because we're on the left side, it's gonna be a gibbous, all right? So what we're gonna have to do now, we're gonna have to flip it over. So we're gonna flip this and have the other side, have it facing the other side to my left. So I flip my gibbous, but now it's gonna be a waning gibbous because we're below this horizon or because we're below this dotted line. That's our reference. So I'm gonna have here gibbous and it's gonna be a waning gibbous. All right? So, and then we continue to move this way, then we're gonna have our last quarter. Now as we continue clockwise going in this direction at five o'clock, I'm going to have what's called a crescent, but it's gonna be a reverse of this one up here. So I'm gonna flip that over and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do this. So now I have a crescent, but what kind of crescent is it? It's gonna be a right, a waning crescent. So let's go back over this real quickly. So we're trying to find out how we can remember the faces of the moon by using a clock, a watch, anything with a face on it with numbers, all right? So that's quick, and we see clocks everywhere, okay? So let's look at this again. Three o'clock, we got new moon. One o'clock, we got waxing crescent. Twelve o'clock, we have first quarter. Eleven o'clock, we have a gibbous, but it's what? A waxing gibbous. And at nine o'clock, we have what? A full moon. And then at eight o'clock, we have a gibbous, but it's a what? Waning gibbous, because waning means to get darker. And then at six o'clock, we have our last quarter. Five o'clock, we have our what? Waning crescent. Waning crescent. All right, so do you think you can remember the actual phases of the moon without looking at a graphical organizer? Here we go. Remember, three o'clock, we have new moon. We move up, one o'clock, we have a waxen crescent. At 12 o'clock, we have a first quarter. And at 11 o'clock, we have a waxen gibbous. And then at nine o'clock, we have a full moon. And then at eight o'clock, we have a gibbous, but it's a waning gibbous. And then six o'clock, we have the last quarter. And then five o'clock, we have a waning crescent. All right? So three, one, 12, 11, nine, eight, six. There you have it. That is remembering the phases of the moon by using your clock. Again, this is Andrew. Just trying to make science more practical for you. Be sure to leave us a comment. Take care.